in. Hope you've had a good day. Ready for your Pilates session. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of standing up work uh, this evening to begin with. Um, and then we'll move it down to floor. I think we've done quite a lot of floor work um, in the last two or three weeks. Uh, so we'll just have a little bit of a change. So if there are any of you that are trying Pilates for the first time tonight, do just make sure that you stick with the less intense levels until you become confident with how to do everything. Uh, so we just need to make sure we centre through the core, engage in the abdominals and that we breathe thoracically as well. So I'll go through those things uh, as briefly as I can. Um, and then uh, we will do some mobility and then we will move into the main session. So you'll get levels of intensity to choose from. Um, so I always encourage you to do the level you can do well um, with good technique, but it's also a challenge. If you feel a bit wobbly, like you're not quite doing it right, then just bring it down to one of the lower levels and you'll have a good successful workout that way. Okay, so we're going to stand up on our feet. We're going to take our feet just outside the hips. A little bit wider in the hips. We're turning out our toes. We're just going to gently squeeze the belly button towards the spine. So we're contracting the abdominal muscles just to a slight degree, not that it's uncomfortable or un uh, not maintainable. We're going to bring our shoulders back and down and just make sure they're above the hips so we've got good posture. And we're going to take deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. So you're taking as much air into the lungs as you can, big breath in and big breath out. Okay, we're going to start some mobility. So we're working through the legs and the upper body as well. So we're going to breathe in, bend the knees, take the hands overhead, breathe out, come down through the center, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. So as you squat down, try and make sure that you are not leaning forwards. And you're sitting your hips back slightly. And I'm just going to do two more of those. Breathe in. And breathe out. And one more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. So we're going to come back up out of the squat and we're just going to bring our feet in so that they are hip width apart. We're going to do a side bend with a reach. So we're going to take the right arm, we're going to flex across, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. We're going to alternate from one side to the other. So breathe in, flex, breathe out, breathe in, going to do two more, one on each side. And we're going to move on to some ankle mobility. So we're going to take a breath in, then on the out breath we're lifting the heel, breathe in as we bring the heel to the floor again and breathe out. like the cat wants to join in this evening and we're switching
chicken sides. Oh yes, Peggy, that's the perfect place for you to decide to lie down. So we're exhaling as the heel lifts, inhaling as the heel touches back down towards the floor. And then what we're going to do, just um, alternate from one heel to the other. So you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I've got a bit of creaking going on in the bones of my feet here. Don't know about you. Got in from a run though, I had a quick shower, just realised I forgot to stretch. A bit naughty. <laughs> anyway, this will stretch me out, won't it? Okay, so just going to do a couple more of those. Okay, and then we're bringing our feet flat to the floor. So that's the mobility done. We should be feeling warmed up, mobilised, ready for the main session. So we're going to start off, we're going to combine the spine twist and the push up together. So I will show you the less intense option and then I'll show you the more intense option. I always do the least intense first if you're joining me for the first time. Okay, so feet are under the hips. We're going to take our hands together, separating the fingertips, middle fingers just tuck under the chin, thumbs rest on the chest. Shoulders are relaxed. We take a breath in. Then as we breathe out, we slowly twist. We keep our hips facing forward. Just twisting from the waist. So then we inhale, we come back to centre. And then we exhale, we slowly twist. Inhale, come back to centre. All the cats just move just in time. Exhale, tuck the chin in. Slowly roll down. So we bring um, our knees towards the floor. So when you feel that little stretch, the pull into the back of the legs. Bend your knees, bring them to the floor. Take your hands wider than your mat. Inhale slowly lower your chest to elbow height exhale as you slowly push up and then walk your hands back we pick up the knees we tuck the chin in and we slowly roll up if there are any of you that can't manage to get down to the knees and do the push-up you can just do your spine twist side to side and then you can roll down and then you can roll back up. So if you've got any issues getting to the floor for your push up, then that's an alternative for you. For any of you that want to challenge yourselves a bit more, upper body wise, then we are taking our spine twist. We inhale, we come back to centre. Exhale. So if you are good at doing push ups and you want to do them on your toes, then you can do. So we tuck the chin in. We slowly roll down, so we just let the arms hang loose. And then we walk our hands forward, keeping our knees off the floor for this one. So we take an inhale breath, lower. Exhale breath, push up. Bend your knees a little bit, just look after your back on the way back up. And then again, the chin tucks in and we slowly stack the vertebrae back on top of one another. And then we're going to the next one, big breath in, exhale, slowly twist, inhale, come back to centre, and then exhale to the other side, inhale. So again, you've got the option of coming down to the knees, the knees touch the floor, and then you walk the hands further away. Breathe in, you slowly lower. So chest comes to elbow height. Exhale, slowly push off from the floor and then walk your hands back. So it's a real good combination. So with the spine twist, we're working on mobility. And then with the push up, we continue with spine mobility and then we're also strengthening the upper body and the legs, working through multiple joints and muscle groups. So 
focus on doing your push up as slowly as you can. So all these movements are designed to be done very slowly. The slower we go, the more challenging the exercises are. Lovely opening out of the spine as you roll down. Slowly do your push up. And we're going to do one more combination. Okay, so once you've done that one, you're just going to sit yourself back into child's pose. The rest of the session we'll be doing on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to turn my mat around now. And we'll be doing the session, the rest of the session on the floor. We will be starting off with this swimming exercise so you'll still be kind of working your upper body a little bit with this one. Um, so we're going to bring ourselves into what we call a tabletop position. Uh, so we're placing the knees under the hips and the hands under the shoulders. Okay so basically what we are going to do is slide one foot along the floor. So before we start, just make sure that your bum isn't sticking out. So we're tucking the pelvis under so the back is as flat as possible. Now for the first option, I'm going to show you, we take a deep breath in and then as we breathe out, we just slide our toes along the floor. Inhale as you return. So we keep our body weight centered over the arms and the support leg. Progression. You can breathe out, slide your toes along the floor, and then we'll lift the leg. Keep the legs straight, and then when the toes have come down to the floor, you slide them back towards you. So breathe out, take away, breathe in, and return. So I'll just turn this way so that you can be able to see a little better, and just see that my toes don't lift off the floor until my leg is straight. Now we've got another option, which is to take away your opposite hand and lift the arm when the leg lifts. So we breathe out, we slide the hand on the toes along the floor and then the arm and the leg lift together. And then we inhale as we slowly return. So as that knee comes back under the hip, just resist the temptation to pop any weight back onto that leg. So what we want to maintain is our weight either over the arms and the support leg or just the one arm and the leg making sure that we're not shifting our weight from side to side if that makes sense so we keep going on the same side if you ever need to stop any of these exercises before i prompt you to then feel free to do that if you start to feel like your technique is starting to suffer So if you can stick with it, we're going to do another couple of those. And then you can sit yourself back over your heels into your child's pose stretch that we did earlier. Ok, 
Okay, so we're now going to switch onto the other side. So take as much time as you need to recover and then join in when you're ready. So you're exhaling as you take away, you're inhaling as you return. So just make sure in your start position that your knees are hip width apart rather than together. Sometimes people start to kind of have this happening through the hips, getting a lot of rotation and that can be because of that knee positioning, so just get the knees under your hips. And you're either just keeping your toes on the floor, exhale as you take away, inhale as you return, or you're adding the leg lift all on the exhale, and then you're inhaling as you return, or you've got your half Superman arm and leg, opposite arm to opposite leg. Just one or two more if you can. And then we're sitting back once again under our heels. Coming down now onto our stomachs, we're going to do the swan dive. Just bear with me a second, I'm just going to change the height of my phone and just see if that just gives you a little bit better. I think it just gives a little bit more. better I think. Okay so elbows um, are shoulder width apart, we're tucking the chin in so we're using the muscles that go up the spine. Uh, so we're taking a breath in and then on the out breath your first option is just low, uh, lifting away from the floor and then lowering as you inhale. So we exhale, we slowly rise, inhale to return. So from your hips down Stay really relaxed, make sure you're not squeezing your bum or lifting your legs. Progression is to let your arms lift away from the floor as well. And then level three is with your arms straight overhead. I'll just turn around for this one. So you've got your arms straight out in front of you and then head, shoulders, chest lift, inhale as you return. So it's not a huge movement. It's only a small lift. And we keep the chin tucked in, so we're keeping length in the neck and safe alignment of the head with the neck and the rest of the spine, so we don't get any neck issues in the future. And again, we're just letting the lower half of the body completely relax. Pulling the stomach muscles in. 
we want to have that contraction. So I'm just going to do a couple more of those. Okay, and then we're going to just sit ourselves back over our heels. At this time, we're just bringing the arms next to the legs. Just brings the stretch, rather than being across the top of the back, just brings it a little bit lower down. Okay, so we're going to do the leg pull next. Don't know why I'm smiling about that. Uh, so this is our holding move. So we have, um, we get ourselves into position and we hold there for as long as we can. Target time is going to be up to a minute. So I always say, if you can't manage a minute, don't beat yourself up, do what you can with the best technique you can, and then come down once you've just got to the point where you can't handle anymore. So I'll just go through your, positions, your options. Okay, so elbows, under shoulders, head and chest off the floor. You can just relax for now, but when I ask you to, you'll take a deep breath in, and then on the out breath, you'll peel your hips and your thighs off the floor. Just come up onto the tips of your knees. Progression wise, you'll just curl your toes under and come up onto your toes. So the toes is more challenging than the knees. Okay, so, if you think you've managed longer on your knees and you want to do that, that's fine. If you can manage less but you want to do it on your toes, that's also fine. Whatever you find works for you. Okay, so let's go. Once you're into the position that you are choosing, you're going to stay there really steady, really strong, and you're going to breathe. Breathe as you would normally. Make sure your bum doesn't start riding up towards the ceiling. Keep your hips level. Shaking is normal during this exercise. We're over halfway, so you're doing great. So we're challenging all the core, so you'll feel it in your quads, glutes, You'll feel it in your abs, your back, shoulders, possibly your arms as well. We've got less than 10 seconds. And release. Good job, well done. All right, from here to stretch, we're going to just lift ourselves up, pushing our chest up away from the floor. If you want a little more, Onto your hands, crack, crack of the elbows. I've got everything cracking tonight. <laughs> okay, well done. We're going to roll over onto our sides now. We're going to do an exercise called the lateral hip rolls. So we're just coming down onto the arm. Press on the arm, heels up to your bum, feet in line with your spine. Very straightforward, we're just taking your breath in and then on the out breath, we're just lifting the knee away, keeping the feet together, keeping the body really, really still, inhaling as we return. So we exhale and we inhale. Just a case of going slower and going further increases the intensity, so there aren't any levels for me to bore you with for this one. So this is a really, really good one uh, to help you if you struggle with sciatica. It's a really good one to do in between sessions when you get flare-ups. It's a good preventative measure 
one as well. I'm going to slide that leg up. Okay, we're going to just bring ourselves up. Just take your legs around now to the other side of the room. We're going to repeat that same exercise on the other side. So just let your head be supported on your arm. Heels up to your bum again. We're breathing in. And then as we breathe out, we'll lift the knee away, keeping the feet together. Inhaling as we return. Yeah, we're keeping this body super, super still, so straight, stay nice and strong through your middle. going to take that really stretch again. We're going to roll over onto our backs and we're going to do the shoulder bridge. So bring our heels in towards us. We are having our arms resting on the floor by our sides. We take an inhale breath, we tilt the pelvis, we push the lower back into the floor and then we breathe out. We just peel the spine off the floor one vertebrae at a time. Then we inhale, we slowly lower the spine back down to the floor one vertebrae at a time and exhale into neutral spine and pelvis. So when I say neutral spine and pelvis, there's just a little space between your lower back and the floor. So your back isn't arched up, but it's not pressed into the floor either, just a little space there. So we, again, we inhale and we exhale. And we inhale and exhale. Progression wise, we inhale and exhale we come up into shoulder bridge then we inhale we take our arms overhead we exhale we bring our hands back down to the floor and then we breathe in and out as we slowly release so this is a lovely one uh, for the spine in terms of mobility but it's a great one as well for strength for abdominals and back So if there are any of you looking for a progression from there, then what you can do is start off the same, you'll inhale and exhale into the bridge. So just keep your arms relaxed. Best way to know whether you've got tension, your arms are holding you in place or not, is just make sure your palms are up and then you can't tend to put your um, body weight into them. Inhale, lift a foot off the floor, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So as you um, are doing that leg movement, then what you need to do is just make sure your hips are not dropping away from the ceiling. So if they are, just bring it back to a previous option. It's up to you, you can stay up there and just keep alternating leg to leg, or you could just do one on the right leg, one on the left, come down, go back up, do the right, do the left again, then come down again. Just whatever you feel like you want to do, what feels like it works for you. I was going to do one or two more. I'm going to bring the knees in towards us for our release stretch. Crikey, how's the time got there? That is scary. Don't know where the time goes. Are you but the days are flying by the weeks are flying by the months are flying by i'm ready for homeschooling to finish though i've got to say <laughs> oh. all right so we're going to bring the feet to the floor now we'll do one more exercise uh, we'll do the uh, double leg stretch now so bringing the arms uh, by our sides, we're taking a breath in. For your first option, you breathe out, uh, let your arms float up, turn your palms in towards each other. So we breathe in to begin with, and then as we breathe out, we circle our arms away from the midline of the body, inhale as we return. So we're maintaining our neutral spine position here, just a little space between your lower back and the floor. If you did want to progress to level two, you can raise one knee above your hip. So the shin should be parallel to the ceiling, if you've not got a wonky ceiling, um, and your calf parallel to the floor. So your knees at 90 degrees. Level three is to have both of your legs in that position. So your knees and your feet remain hip width apart rather than resting together. And then, Final option is with your head and your shoulders raised off the floor. So keep your um, abdominals gently pulled in. Focus on that breathing technique so you're exhaling as you take away. Inhaling as you return. Okay, we're going to change direction. So if you're on level two and you've got one leg raised, then you can switch onto your other leg. Or if you're just starting to feel like you're getting a bit fatigued in the hips, you can bring both feet back down to the floor if you need to.
hamstring, hip arms, and the legs down. Just going to come into a full body stretch. So we're just going to take the legs out, point the toes, and then we're taking our arms overhead. So we've got to stretch right from the fingertips down to the toes. to bend the knees and I'm just going to hug the knees in towards us and however is most comfortable to you you're going to bring yourself up to sitting position so you can just roll yourself up or if you have to roll it onto your side and pushing yourself up from there Let's go for that one so well done everybody, I hope you enjoyed your session and you're feeling lengthened and strengthened after that. Uh, tomorrow's slot is circuit training, so I hope to see you there for that. Have a lovely evening, enjoy the sunshine and um, I'll see you tomorrow.